So the Charlesville Navy Yard is this incredible textured and layered landscape of over 200 years of naval heritage. It is a place that has the majestic wooden ships of sail all the way through to the evolution of the, the Navy as it became part of the Industrial Revolution and the steel hull ships of what we see today. So it's really about 174 years of naval heritage uh, from the early beginnings of the, the USS Constitution being built in 1797 all the way up through to the time that the Navy transferred the property to the National Park Service in 1974. Visiting the Charlestown Navy Yard is an opportunity to see how our country has defended its freedom. When you visit the Navy Yard, you see the towering masts of USS Constitution. You learn about the people who served aboard, who worked aboard, and some who died aboard. And you see how we have supported the ideals that are expressed along the Freedom Trail. We still have active duty sailors aboard USS Constitution. The ship is still being repaired by the civilian workers who maintain this amazing wooden warship. And you visit all of that in the context of a national park. Our story is a great story of perseverance, of courage, of naval history and maritime excellence. USS Constitution was built in 1797 and launched just across the water at what was Edmund Hart Shipyard, which is now is US Coast Guard Base Boston, and has been in continued active service for 223 years. And what made her internationally famous was her victory over Her Majesty's Ship Guerriere in 1812, where Captain Isaac Hull coined the phrase Old Ironsides as her hull made of live oak and white oak reflected cannonballs that were being fired upon her. This was one of six Navy shipyards that Congress had legislated to be built after the American Revolution. So Charlestown was the place that was identified in the Boston area for the building of ships, for the repair of ships. And so this was the very beginnings, the, the, the underpinnings of what our Navy for the United States was soon to become. The Charlestown Navy Yard and Boston National Historical Park is the only national park in the nation that has a working Navy, meaning that we still have a commissioned warship, the USS Constitution. Uh, we still have 80-some sailors that uh, sail her, take care of her. We are so fortunate that when the park was created, the legislation creating it was really intended to have a partnership between the United States Navy and the National Park Service. The USS Constitution Command is a command of approximately 80 active duty sailors and our mission is to preserve, protect and promote not only the legacy of USS Constitution but also the entire Navy and the armed services. Visitors learn about the history through the sailors themselves. Uh, try to make it fun and engaging so that we can make those connections to people of all ages. And the best way to hear it is not to read it from a book, it's to actually be on board and actually talk to someone who lives it. Uh, albeit 200 years later and a little bit differently, but li is living it and uh, hear it right from their mouth. The USS Constitution Museum was founded in 1972 as a complement to USS Constitution. The mission of the museum is to engage all ages in the stories of old iron sides, to spark excitement about maritime heritage and the American experience. We do that through interactive, hands-on exhibits so visitors can think what it would have been like if they had lived 200 years ago and they were serving aboard this ship when it sailed out of Boston Harbor. The Charlestown Navy Yard has been a part of the Charlestown community since 1800, but a giant wall has divided the yard from the town. And for many years, that was for reasons of safety with ship construction and repair, but in more recent time, we wish the wall could disappear. We want to invite the citizens of Charlestown to take advantage of their own waterfront. This is the front yard for the local community. When people come to the Charlestown Navy Yard, I think there's an initial sense of confusion about where to go first and then where to go next. That's why the visitor experience plan is so important. And the most important part of that redesign is having visitors go to the National Parks Visitor Center and the USS Constitution Museum before they come to the ship. To lead them where they want to go and where we want them to go to really make the experience that much better. The visitor experience plan really talks about how do we connect the park to the community. 
We physically have a wall between the Navy Yard and the town of Charlestown. We also have Chelsea Street, and then we have Tobin Bridge. And so the connections between community and the Navy Yard are somewhat challenging. And so one of the things that we're really looking to do is to break down those physical barriers as well as maybe mental barriers uh, in order to make the community feel like this national park is part of theirs. One of the things that culminated from the visitor experience plan was this notion of creating one location, the gateway location uh, for the Charlestown Navy Yard. Since 90% of our visitors, over a million visitors, are coming through Gate 1, which is right along Constitution Road, the Hoosick site became the location where we could combine the Constitution Museum and the National Park Visitor Center together to provide that gateway into the Navy Yard itself. A new plan for the Navy Yard that focuses on the visitor experience allows us to make sense of these resources and invite visitors to see them in a logical way. With the museum and the visitor orientation moving adjacent to Constitution, visitors will get a first-class welcome when they arrive at the Navy Yard. They'll understand the yard and why they're here, and the visitor experience will be so much better. When the visitor finally gets the opportunity to engage with an active duty sailor on her decks, I think our time is best spent with them, telling them the personal stories about the, the characters of USS Constitution. So a lot of the core knowledge that every American citizen should know about old Ironsides, they can learn in the museum, and then we can be that personal touch uh, when they get to the ship to really make it an enriching experience. What's really exciting, I think, about uh, a new facility uh, as the gateway into the Navy Yard is this coming together between the Constitution Museum and the National Park Service and the Navy, whereby we're going to provide a seamless visitor experience for people. We're going to greet them right where they're coming from, which is on the Freedom Trail. And, and we're going to really look at opportunities where they're going to have an understanding of not only the Navy Yard, but the context that they're in, whether it's Bunker Hill and, and the battle there uh, right up the hill from us, or if it's looking out to the Boston Harbor Islands, or how we connect to our broader community. I think it's just going to provide for a wonderful experience of the Charlestown Navy Yard like nobody's had before. The fun of this planning process has been working with all of our neighbors in the community and asking what would they like to see? How might this yard be different? And whether it's talking about people want ice cream, let's launch kayaks, let's have green space, let's have harbor access. There are so many ideas within the local community. It's fun to see this Navy Yard coming back to life in a new way. It's been a place of activity when it hummed day and night during World War II, but now we're reimagining a new future for the yard, and that's always an exciting time. So many people now are recognizing that the waterfront and the harbor are just so important to to their community that there's an opportunity now to exploit that, uh, to provide people with simple things like sitting along the waterfront enjoying that harbor view, providing amenities such as restaurants, places for recreation, places for concerts, places to have ships come and go and for them to experience that. My career with the National Park Service is now over 35 years and I really find the Charleston Navy Yard probably one of the most challenging, exciting projects I've ever been involved with. Uh, I think we want to expand people's perception of what a national park is. I look at national parks as our, our national heritage, whether it's natural heritage or cultural and historic heritage. And so I think that this is the place we want to be. This is the place where we can really model what a national park in an urban environment should be. And it should be connected to our community and it should be relevant to all people. So between the partners, uh, being in an urban environment, as well as just uh, all the connections that we have here in Charlestown, I just see this to be a model for a national park in the 21st century.